Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the concrete technology and it's related to the alkali silica reaction. This is a very important reaction in the concrete technology and this reaction also called is the concrete cancer. Concrete cancer because it is it is like a disease of cancer which occurs at one point and then it distributes through the whole structure and just decrease the life of the whole concrete structure. So that's why this reaction is also called as concrete cancer in terms of the concrete technology. So as you can see the picture here in which the cracks distribute through, throughout the whole bridge here, this is because of the alkali silica reaction which creates a crack and it's been increasing with the time in which the penetration of chloride or other, uh, other aggressive components enter into the concrete and it just kills the life of the concrete. So that's why it is called as concrete cancer because it just deteriorates the life of the concrete structure. Now coming to the process that how this alkali silica reaction occurs and what are the important components that uh, affect the alkali silica reaction and what are the uh, and what are the effects that being created because of the alkali silica reaction and how to avoid this alkali silica reaction. In short words, alkali al alkali silica reaction is represented by ASR which is called the alkali silica reaction. This reaction is basically coming from the two different components in the concrete. One is from the cement content in the concrete and one is aggregate. So the in the cement content we have alkali. Alkali content in the cement these are responsible for this reaction and we have in aggregate we have some amorphous silica which are reactive and these two components react with one another and to form in the in the presence of water right in the presence of water they react with one another and form the reaction which is called as the asr alkali silica reaction so it's, it's basically from two different components like one from the cement in which we have alkali contents like sodium potassium and from the other we have the aggregates and from the aggregates we have silica, amorphous silica, which is very reactive and when it reacts with the alkali components of the cement, it forms the alkali silica reaction, which is basically expensive gel, which expands the concrete and it creates crack all over the concrete structures. So that's why it is called as alkali silica reaction because alkali is coming from the cement, as you can see here, it's coming from the cement and silica is coming from the aggregate and they react in the presence of water, forming the alkali silica reaction so it is basically of the aggressive react to aggregates and the higher alkali content in the cement makes this reaction possible so i'm going here to discuss the uh, some effects of the alkali silica reaction that what are the effects on the concrete structure so the first effect is that it decreases the compressive and tensile strength of the concrete decrease the compressive and tensile strength of the concrete structures decrease the compressor and tensile strength the second and this is very important and this is very important to know that it reduces the uh, compression tensile strength by large amount especially the tensile strength has been reduced by 85 percent 85 percent this is too much so we have to avoid this asr reaction the second effect because of the alkali silica reaction is that it, it, is, it creates the expansion of the concrete. It creates the expansion of the concrete structure. So because of the expansion, there are cracks. There are many cracks due to this expansion. And because of the cracks, there is the um, other components like the chloride and the sulfate which attacks on the concrete and can affect the durability. And also, it reduces the it reduces the elastic modulus of the concrete. It also fatigue strength is being reduced. It reduces the fatigue strength of the concrete. Reduce the fatigue strength of the concrete. And it also uh, decreases the durability. Durability of the concrete structure, which is a very important parameter. Uh, so uh, this uh, also reduce the durability of the structure. Now I will try to explain also that how we can avoid the alkali silica reaction. So how how to avoid 
alkali silica reaction right so there are some methods that we can reduce the alkali silica reaction the first one is the that we should use the non-reactive aggregate it should be tested in the laboratory that there should be non-reactive aggregate that it can reduce the non-reactive aggregate it can reduce the asr by huge amount if we use the non-reactive aggregate because it the, the reactive aggregates react with the as the alkali content which makes this reaction possible so we try to avoid the reactive aggregates and we should use the non-reactive aggregates and it should be tested in the laboratory to know whether it is reactive or non-reactive the second one is the low alkali content low al by using the low alkali content in the cement in cement we can uh, we can reduce the a a a reaction in the concrete structures and the third one is by using the low water cement ratio we can also use we can also uh, avoid the asr by using the low water cement ratio and the fourth one is is using the admixtures there are special admixtures which are used specially for the to reduce the um, the asr expansion gel but these admixtures are really expensive so no these are these admixtures are really costly so that's why they are not preferable but we can using use it mixtures to avoid the to avoid the asr gel expansion so we can also uh, use it mixtures to reduce this expansion of the uh, concrete because of the asr but these admixtures are uh, really costly that's why they are not mostly preferable but we can use the other methods to uh, to reduce the asr reaction in the concrete structures hope you guys understand the basic concept of the asr which is very important reaction in the concrete and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching my video